All right, we're going to have a brief demystification of the subject of compressive strengths as they relate to natural hydraulic lime and natural cements. So you've probably heard mentioned things like an NHL 2, an NHL 3.5, an NHL 5. What are these numbers referring to? Well, they're referring to the European metric classification of compressive strength. That's how much pounds per square inch in imperial units can be applied to a predetermined block of mortar using one of these materials before that block fails. So a megapascal or a newton as sometimes you'll hear it called is equivalent to more or less 145 pounds per square inch. So for example, an NHL2 mortar would be subject to double that amount. It would be subject to about 290 pounds per square inch minimum before it fails under that amount of compression. We have a few examples here of uh, natural hydraulic limes from France, Lafarge's 3.5, Spain's NHL 5 from Tigre, as well as Tigre's natural cement. Hopefully this chart will help to clarify things because what you see is it's not a exact number but rather a range that is established by the European standards. So for an NHL 2, it means that that compressive strength must be a minimum of 2, but they allow a compressive strength all the way up to 7 megapascals. Similarly, an NHL 3.5 starts at a minimum compressive strength of 3.5, but the regulations, the standards allow it to go all the way up to 10. And for NHL 5, the range is from 5 to 15, natural cements, 8 to 30 or even more. So one thing I would like to point out here is you'll notice that these ranges are overlapping. So it's possible to have an NHL 5 binder that has the same compressive strength as a NHL 2 binder. These are basically just general ranges. If you need to know specifically what the particular binder that you're using, that information can be available in a technical data sheet from the manufacturer or the distributor of that material.